Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for being here. I'm Colton. I'm Courtney. My beautiful wife. And we resell full-time on eBay, Amazon, and we own a thrift store in town. Kind of a buy, sell, trade type place. And we're over here at the... We got two different locations. The thrift store, online stuff's over here. This is where we film most of our videos. We call us the eBay store. eBay shop, store, office. I don't know. Anytime we say we got to go to the store, it's which one. More than likely it's this one though. Before we get started, y'all like the video. If you don't mind, hit the thumbs up. Completely free. Subscribe. Go ahead and share it. Share it out. Let's grow this channel. Thank y'all so very much for y'all being here. And today is... Kind of crazy. What is today? Tuesday. The day after Labor Day. The 5th? Yeah. The 5th of September 2022. In case it's 10 years from now and y'all are watching this. So... Um, we got, I think, a hundred and a lot, like 115 orders going out between eBay and Amazon. Um, we pulled, came over here yesterday and we pulled and packed a lot of them. We still got a lot left to do, a lot, and some sales we want to run through and that sort of thing. And we'll continue from there. But what I want to do for the next video is anything y'all want to ask me and Miss Courtney, any question, it don't matter what it is, leave it in the comment of this video. The next video, we're just going to do like a QA type video. We're going to be in here working and stuff and answering y'all's questions that y'all have for me and Miss Courtney. So leave them in the comments. Don't matter what they are. There's nothing vulgar, perverted. Anything else is good though, right? Sure. Sure. If it ain't, I'll just skip it and say, hey, such and such. We're not doing that one. Or I just skip it. I don't know. But nonetheless, let's jump into the day's orders. I'll show you what we got going on. Love you all. Let's go. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. You get all the hair off of him. Mm -hmm. Flip him back over for a minute. You know, it looked like he had sucked up a Sasquatch. There was so much hair on this thing. I ain't saying where it come from. Could have already been on there when we got it. Y'all, women and girls, they shed literally. Like, I, it's bad, ain't it? I don't, I don't understand how she still got a full head of hair. Either I shed every day. The um, I do want to mention this one. We never did pack this one up, it was just sitting over here ready to be packed because I wanted to put it in a video. Um, this is actually going out to Tanya, and I don't know her husband's name, her husband's who bought it. But um, the message says, Me and my wife watch you all on YouTube, appreciate you all. We have been selling for around two years, also. Thanks and God bless. Awesome. They bought tootables, yeah, they bought our tootables, our fart cans. There's no, we got another one. No fart buckets. No. It's got a fart bucket in it. Fart but bubbles. The, but yeah, this is fart bubbles. You fill this fish up and then you blow him up and he puts bubbles out. Called tootables. So. We got another one too. This ended up selling for ten thirty nine. dollars um, Free shipping. Yeah, free shipping. So thank y'all so much for that. And I'm feeling of it. I don't know if it's going to go first class. Yeah, okay felt awful heavy there for a minute so we'll get that packed up and sent out to you so we got all these packed up as y'all can see a lot of poly bags a lot of bubble mailers a few boxes and we packed all that and this stuff this is an umbrella the only way i knew how to pack it is i wrapped it in bubble wrap saran wrapped it real tight and put it in some poly bags and you're thinking why not put it in a y'all i don't have a box i could put it in a priority mail to you but it was gonna cost a buttload so I did it that way. We'll see. Plus, it's so, more than likely going to California. So, right, more than likely. That's where everything goes, y'all. California. All righty, guys and gals. So, I was gonna do a what so video in this, but it didn't work out that way. We got too carried away. It's um currently like 10:30. We got all the orders packed up. We ended up having like 118. So we got our UPS FedEx orders here, and then our post office orders here. There's so, seven bags. Not too bad. Um, everything all together was like $2,600 what it sold for. Cost $550 to ship, so what you gonna do? Um, but 
I'm happy with it, aren't you, for a weekend? It's a lot. More Labor Day, Labor Day weekend. So now what we're gonna do, take these to the post office, take these down to our shipper, but I'm gonna carry y'all with us when we go to our shipper. And there's a thrift store down there. We'll run in and do some thrifting. Because we need some more used type stuff to sell on eBay. Because right now we're dealing with a lot of this kind of stuff. Well, we, we have some used things in our storage unit. We just yeah, haven't used, got to it. Yeah, used sales. Like on eBay, it's better. Like we're taking photos now. My photo where is of this PS3. And um, I still like the thrill of the hunt. So we're going to go to the thrift store. Do a quick walk around. Just kind of look for some stuff. And then we'll come back up here and get into something else. What do you think? What did you think of this hotel? This is probably one. Well, how much is this? Game, okay, $2. Less price. Yeah, it's cool. That would be my only theory is it $2 wouldn't be bad. I need it. Hold on, let's keep looking. Hey, look, the game that couldn't shoot straight. I wonder if these are any good. It's like the old CDs. You mean tapes that read books to? Oh yeah, tapes. Not CDs. Oh, oh, I'll leave it. What's in here? I don't think so. Yeah, it was a little full box, see? Here's the new ones. One of them is the connect, and then the other one is the rock band. You know what did we? Oh, did we? Back when it was a whole big box that's sitting on. Yep, I think you're right. Sometimes they got Bibles. Yeah. Barney's birthday. Tilly's dragon. Barney, Barney, and Barney. Do you want that puzzle now that we're getting the Barneys? Hmm. 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 I don't know if we're getting these Barneys. I gotta look them up. Okay. Hold on, I got treat for mold. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get in there.
Hey, mama. Alrighty, guys and gals. So it is now the following day. It is Wednesday. Today we um we got to go out to the storage unit, pull everything out, reorganize it, put it all back in there. Needed to be done a long time ago. Plus, we're trying to find our Halloween. So that's what we're doing today. Um, today we got like 26 orders going out on eBay. Um, after shipping out a hundred and something yesterday, between, a lot. We had a hundred and two, I think, on eBay. I thought we had more now. And then the rest for Amazon. Yeah. So it was a good sales weekend, good sales day yesterday. So we're gonna maybe pull some of them on camera, show y'all them. But real quick, let's talk about why your reselling business fails. Why most of them fail. Why, Miss Courtney? Well, there's what lots would you of think? Lazy. Exactly, lazy. So, whenever you're a reseller and working for yourself, selling on eBay, Amazon, whatever the case may be, you don't have someone above you telling you what to do. So, you know, you get, at first you'll get be gung ho and get after it, and all, and then all of a sudden you hear the term burnout. I'm burned out, burnt out, burnt out, burnt out from YouTube people y'all that's misinformation that's just laziness like well that and when you go to a job every single day if you work at walmart and you're a cashier you you get burnt out on that too but you still show up and do the job you become complacent and you're not self-disciplined enough to show up every day and do your job this is why you, when you start you don't go 90 to nothing you pace yourself consistently every day you do five ten whatever listings every day and then as you consistently do it you'll get better it's like a constant what is it where you're like automatically doing it right habit couldn't, couldn't think of the word this morning habit but i mean 99 percent of people who fail at reselling is because they're complacent and lazy and they can't handle being their own boss they need someone to tell them what to do get up hmm. do your job it's that simple you know you got to list 50 a day you get up and you list 50 a day period end of story i don't need somebody above me telling me what to do i'm gonna do it and y'all are probably saying well y'all have people to make your list and so all you have to do is make them act actually i'm doing the listing and me he is pulling some we don't have a lister it's just us no yeah our, our lister, lister quit done so it's just me and courtney doing this so we're actually but i mean we even if, even if we had employees y'all we had to build up to that point right because we're disciplined enough and we're self-starters we get up in the morning and we don't want to do it we're burnt out but now, granted i do get burnt out doing but lessons, we still, but still do, do it, it because it's our job y'all and you gotta if you're working for yourself you gotta be disciplined enough and understand it enough and i'm kind of sounding harsh right now but i mean it's the truth it's not directed towards anybody right but you got to be self-disciplined and say hey instead of me sleeping until noon today i'm gonna get up at 5 a.m and i'm gonna go do my work and if you don't want to have to like automatically list and everything every morning do that night like four or five drafts put yeah. them in your drafts and then that that way in the morning it's already and set a, set ready up a to go what will help you be successful and be a self starter is have processes okay every day your work has a process if you work a record job you got a process during those eight hours you show up to work it's a process set your business up the same way i don't care if you're working out of your living room okay Been there. say you want to do you know 40 listings a day or 50 a week okay don't do them all at once break them up but be consistent so say mondays is my photo day that's all i'm doing so i'll wake up monday and i photo 50 items for the week or 100 items for the week however many it is right and then tuesday i'm on just list. do the drafts and then tuesday want. say i'll list 10. so i list my 10 tuesday and then i don't take any pictures because i done took them and then but i'm i've listed my 10 but i feel like i can do more so let me do 10 more but i'm gonna leave them in my drafts for tomorrow mm -hmm. so tomorrow whenever i wake up i make those 10 drafts active and i do 10 more in the drafts but do the same number of listings each day. So mm -hmm. if you're only going to photo on Monday, only photo Monday and list Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know, set it up. If you only got 30 items a week, five times or five divided by 30, 30 divided six. by five is what? Six, six a day. That's what you could do. Do it. But be self-disciplined enough to wake up and do your job. It's no different than if you were punching a time clock. And if you don't want to do like, say for instance, one day you just have the energy and the time. Do all of your listings you want to do, throw them in drafts, and that way every right. morning you just wake up when you have a few minutes 
Make Save however many you need active and then just let it go. Then you're done for the day. Being a self-starter is the biggest thing at working for yourself. Being an entrepreneur, you got to have the motivation within to show up every day and work. Now granted, it takes it's a rough. lot to get and up And it's every rough day. a lot of days, y'all. Like, it is rough It's rough a this lot morning. I had a rough night. But we still do it. Mm -hmm. And plus working for yourself being your own boss, you get the freedom to say, hey, I can't work Tuesday of next week. I need to I need to go take care of the kids, take them to their football game, whatever. It's going to be a busy day. Whatever. Vacation, mm -hmm. Bible school, whatever the case may be. Well, I can plan ahead for that and say, okay, I can't work Thursday, so let me do my work for that on. I can break it up between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and do two extra listings a day, cover my Thursday, and I can take off. We can, we have the benefit to do that, Mm -hmm. But you got to be disciplined enough to set yourself up to be able to do that. Right. So that's just thrown in there. I want to talk about that a little bit. That here. was not directed at anybody. No. But if you don't want to fail, do the work. If you don't do the work, you're, you're going to fail. fail. I mean, it's simple. It really is simple. If you're lazy, you're going to fail. And you need somebody to tell you what to do. Hmm. This is probably the wrong business for you. <laughs> so let's pull a couple orders and we'll go from there. We'll see y'all. Still love y'all. Alrighty y'all, so we're gonna pull a few orders today. I don't wanna take up the whole time pulling, you know, just random stuff that's not really worth any showing you, cause, I mean, a lot of the stuff we sell, you probably won't find at thrift stores, garage sales. We're selling a lot of Halloween right now, so. I'd pull the first I mean, one. there's no point in really showing you all that. So we'll pull some stuff that you could find at garage sales or estate sales mm -hmm. and show you what they sell for. So let's go to W5. And twist. Spin move. It's behind the... Are we on the wrong side? No, it's behind the cart right there. Next to the broom head. So, this right here is pretty cool. It's an animated small vintage film reel projector with dance and scale animation. Let me show you. It may be dead. Better that one. Come back here. Press the try me button. There you go. Sorry about that, y'all. Couldn't shut it off. The wheels moving everything just as it should. You would have seen these like, it looks like it would come from Walgreens. Walmart. Though. Walmart, maybe. But um, just a little film projector thing. It sold for $59.99. Appreciate it. Now, we got to pull a VHS tape. VHS is becoming hot, y'all. Anytime you see a brand new sealed VHS tape, just look it up. Some of them go for thousands. Uh, unfortunately, this was not. We did sell land before time last week for like a hundred bucks. But this one is not. It's on FS3, so let's go around this way so Miss Courtney don't have to walk backwards. If I walk backwards, I'm liable to hit something right now. Our aisle right here gets smaller and smaller. So, FS3 right here. And y'all can see we kind of got a stack of them in here of new VHS tapes. Um, this one right here is the one that sold. We thought it was a good one. Um, I think this one's pretty good. Homeward Bound. Homeward Bound. It's new sealed. And we also got a Home Alone 2, which is pretty good. It's floating around here somewhere, new sealed. But if you can find like the first Home Alone, sealed. new sealed, a Night at the Roxbury, Cars. Cars, I mean, Cars can lot, be used. A lot of good titles, y'all. Um, this is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, new sealed, and um, this was the 1991 version, I think, 89. Anyhow, sealed, 18.39, free shipping. We paid like 50 cents for this. Yeah, it was part of a bundle deal. Yes, GS10. And if any um, viewers, keep going. That's a good one. If any viewers happen to um, buy anything from our eBay store, I'll make sure to put a thank you and show it in a video. GS10. Right here with the booze. Here's GS10. Okay, so it's going to be in this container. What you looking for? Calculator. Yeah, it's going to be in that container. We kind of crammed the shelves, you guys. That's what you got to do. It'll be on this side of the book. Here it is. Okay. 
get back on there. You gotta turn it that way. There you go. Now put the tape back in there. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. God. It's a whole, this, this a whole deal, y'all. Courtney pulls orders. Okay. So, this is a Texas Instruments TI-89 um, untested graphing calculator. Don't know why it's untested, but it is. Maybe we didn't want to test it. I don't know. Anytime you find um, Texas TIs, graphing calculators, I always check them out, the T89s. What's the other one? 87 maybe? I don't know. 84? Look them up. I don't know. They can bring good money. 34 39 free shipping. And we just sold one more item I want to show y'all because you can't find these. Colton's not pulling them in order, you guys. There's so many, Miss Courtney. I already know. I'm assuming we sold the bow speaker, you guys. And that's the one that Copeland had the CD stuff in. Right. So this was a bow speaker. We've had, it's kind of heavy. Anytime you see bows, great name. If it's cheap enough, pick it up. If it's kind of expensive, look it up. And um, they sell great. This is a Bose Wave Music System, model number AWRCC1. And it does not have the remote, but I was able to test it with another remote. And it does work. I had this thing listed forever as untested. But I was trying to get top, top dollar, and it never sold. So I was able to test it, and I relisted it as working, because I did test it. And it sold within a day. I took an offer for $100 free ship. So We still got that other boat. Nice sale. So I always check these things out if you can find them. I bought that other one real cheap. Which other one? That other bows we got with the remote. Yeah. A lot of times people don't know what they have whenever they have bows. So you can get them for a deal. Um... What we're going to do now is we're going to pull the rest of our orders, pack them up, and then we'll walk out to the storage unit, show you the before, maybe the after. I don't know. I need to get this video edited and uploaded today. So I'll show you the before. I may have to watch the next video to see the after. Don't forget, leave us some comments down in here with questions, what you want us to answer for you guys and gals. We'll answer them. Until then, though, we'll wait until we go out to the storage unit. We'll come back to you. Alrighty guys and gals, so now we are in the storage unit, y'all can see it is an absolute train wreck. It looks like gophers have been in here burrowing in all the corners. So we're fixing to get started. If y'all want to see the progress, come back and watch the next video, and I'm sure we'll show an after I'll give you a tour. Probably won't film none of it doing it though. But anyhow, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe if you ain't already. Love y'all. We gone.